Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishwash. I welcome you all in my channel, Chemistry, Chemistry of Molecules. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ in front of you. So I request you student, please pause the video, read the question carefully, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. And don't worry, after some time we'll get the right answer with proper explanation. And by the way, please remember one statement that self-evaluation is essential for improvement. And that's why I think you should try by yourself. Now, so I believe you have tried by yourself, so it's my turn to give you the right answer. Whenever you encounter such kind of problem, try to understand what is asked. Now, in this case, if you look, this molecule is pretty big. Yes, it's too big. So one question is fine. Now look at what are the condition. Condition is potassium carbonate methanol. It's a very mild and basic. Okay. So from here you can understand that a particular question have asked. Now if you look at this molecule, how many type of functional groups are present? Both this trimethylsilyl and tertiary butyl dimethylsilyl are similar type of group. Point number one. Second. So one type of functional this silyl protection. Second, this alkyne. Third, this alkene. Fourth, this ketal. Acetal or you can consider in this case ketal. Now from our basic chemistry understanding we know that ketals are stable in base. So this option gone. Alkene, alkyne they do not react with mild base like ketoCO3 methanol gone and this alkene is not attached to any electron withdrawing group option gone so whatever left this silyl protection and actually they are reacting so till now if you understand this much based on your literature study as well as practice then your life became easier now the competition is whether this trimethyl silyl will be deprotected or this tertiary butyl dimethyl. So that is the question under this condition. And by the way, if you see K2CO3 methanol, K2CO3 is not a that much good nucleophile because K2 means this potassium, fine. So this, this potassium plus. Now CO3, if you look at, it's a carbonate, means it is a dianionic. Now here, if you look at, this anion is stabilized. How? So in this way, through resonance. And second, it is relatively more bulky compared to compared to other base which is produced. So it can react with methanol, and in this case, what it can produce? So this can abstract this proton and ultimately produce the the methoxide OME minus K plus. So and another thing, carbonate part. Now this MeO minus methoxide and now you will think that, think that sir what is the equilibrium sign what do you mean I want to say that equilibrium will remain in the reactant side why because the methoxide is relatively stronger you can consider why I am saying stronger the negative charge is concentrated on a particular oxygen whereas in this case of carbonate this negative charge is delocalized over this oxygen and another carbonate so from this thing you can understand this is a stronger base not only that this is a relatively better nucleophile not only that option two option three this is a smaller in size okay so it's a good nucleophile now reaction will happen between meo minus and any one of silicon and by the way, I have already discussed many lectures on silicon, carbon silicon compound or silyl enol ether derivatives. So please visit to understand the chemistry properly. Now, let's look at the mechanism little carefully, how the reaction is actually happening. So if you look at these two silyl groups, here are three methyl. And we know methyl is relatively smaller compared to one is tertiary butyl. So this is actually student a big group. So this part is you can consider this is more bulky and in this case what happened this OME minus act as nucleophile and attacks the silicon center. Now here we can understand that this tertiary butyl containing silicon is more bulky so steric reason is there that's why this nucleophile cannot attack this tertiary butyl dimethyl silyl but it can attack this silicon. Okay, so 
after attacking what it will produce then this bond leaves. So, here carbon ion is produced and potassium plus has counter cation. What is the another product? Another product is trimethyl silyl obviously attached to OH. Now, remember student this silicon oxygen bond is relatively stable because the staple P pi D pi back bonding means the lone pair of this oxygen is delocalized over vacant energetically accessible vacant d orbital. I repeat energetically accessible vacant d orbital of silicon atom. Consequently, you can consider this this silicon oxygen single bond e having some partial double bond character or in short more stable or more strong or stronger bond. So, that is the driving force for this reaction. Second, this carbon ion is student means here it is a carbon ion it is sp hybridized. So, the negative charge is in sp orbital and we know increasing the s character the electronegativity of the carbon increases and the carbon ion consequently gets more stabilized relatively more stabilized. So, in this way this carbon ion is produced now in the second step what it does this carbon ion abstract proton from the this methanol and again it generates the methoxide. Okay. So, in this way you can understand the reaction is actually continuing and base is regenerated and here what we get this is a terminal alkyl. Okay. So, answer of this problem is this TMS hydrolysis and proton attachment. So, in this case TMS hydrolysis means this group will be uh, removed and proton will attach which option this option B is the right answer. And in other case if you uh, look at others not possible because in option A the tertiary butyl containing silane remove or silyl group remove not possible because of bulkness and the option C is this you can consider ketal hydrolysis, but that is not possible under alkaline condition. Okay. So, this option also gone. So, this two gone and no reaction obviously not possible. Okay. Now, if this question appear in your exam less than 30 second how can you solve? First you need to understand what is the condition it is an basic medium and what are the functional group here this ketal alkene alkyne and silane. Ketal alkene and alkyne are stable in basic medium. So, silane will react and which silane will react obviously the least bulky one. Now, in order to understand the complete concept, please visit the main video I have uploaded and I shall provide the link in the description box. So, so in conclusion what you have learned today that terminal alkyne or amine can also be protected using silyl ether formation not only amine alcohol also. Okay. So, this is actually this alcohol is the most famous application and acetal and ketal are stable in basic medium. I have already discussed a dedicated lecture on this topic. Now, silyl ether deprotection could further means another achieved in presence of acid, base or fluoride because in this example I have discussed about the base mediated, but the mildest one is fluoride mediated because silicon fluorine bond is significantly stronger because of the same reason like oxygen fluorine oxygen silicon bond formation. Now, alkyne anion and in this case you may consider this sp carbon ion is significantly stable because of enhanced x character. Okay. And finally, depending on the bulkiness or substituent on the silicon atom selectivity for the hydrolysis could be achieved that means the SIR3 grid group could be obtained. So, you may consider this concept is like a steric protection of silyl or silane in this case steric protection of silane compound because of the means obviously the bulkness steric protection of the silane compounds. Now, so this is the end of the discussion I believe this video may be useful for you please write your opinion in the comment box and if possible please visit my another channel stay happy stay blessed see you in